Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Kat Pengelly, and I'm the Community and Engagement Manager for Lean Agile Global. In the lead up to the live virtual conference taking place on 24th and 25th May 2021, I will be introducing you to some of the fantastic speakers that we have in our lineup. Today, I'm delighted to introduce to you, and apologies if I make any mistakes on the names, uh, we have Gladys Nueno, uh, Chief Cheerleader at Agile Ma uh, Mavericks, and Anastasia uh, Wainania, uh, Customer Advocate, at, also at Agile Mavericks. Thank you both so much for being here with me today. Perfect. Um, so I have prepared five questions for you and I'm going to start off with Gladys just to make it a little bit easier on us. Um, how would you describe yourself in a single tweet? Thanks, Kat. Uh, I describe myself as a visionary and catalytic leader who inspires teams to maximize their potential in one tweet. Beautiful. I love that. And um, Anastasia, how about for yourself? So I'm an agile coach, three years experience. I'm easily adaptable and very effective. So we are living in a customer's world. So you're good to go. That's awesome, wonderful. Well, um, so because obviously we're talking about the conference, in your opinion, why do you think people should come and join us virtually at Lean Agile Global 2021? Um, this time, uh, Anastasia, would you like to go first? <laughs> Yeah, why not? So, in uh, why we'd love people to join us because we have amazing speakers. People will come and learn more from other speakers and widely connect. Lovely, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> That's also a perfect tweet. <laughs> I'm going to use that. Um, perfect. And uh, Gladys, how about yourself? I'm uh, really looking forward to connect virtually with an amazing global um, conference, a community of people. Um, just for the purpose that it has, sharing, giving back to the community, that is what really sticks for me. So looking forward to learn, engage, share experiences from a host of amazing speakers uh, and attendees as well. Awesome. I love that. And, you know, we we really, as you keep saying, global speakers, you know, the diversity of our conference was really important to us to make sure that we were able to touch all corners of the globe and get agile ideas from every continent. Um, so uh, it really is truly a global conference. Um, because we wanted LAG to be diverse and inclusive, um, we want to know from our speakers, what does that mean to you? Um, Gladys, I'll hand over to you first. Diversity and inclusion for me means really tapping into the potential of the diverse and brilliant, brilliant minds across the world, all over the world. It could be um, race, ideologies, mindsets. So whatever we all have to bring on board, just share it and yeah, grow together. Yes, lovely. And um, Anastasia, how about for yourself? So to include everyone, I would say for diversity and inclusion, it means we include everyone irrespective of their culture, country, and also values. Yes, lovely, beautiful. I love the respect aspect of that. I think that's <laughs> truly very important. So I love that you've said that. Um, and so um, for your talk then, um, I think you have a really interesting talk and I'm personally really excited to, to listen in. Um, would you be able to share a little bit about why people should come to your talk at the conference? Um, Agile Mavericks Limited is presenting a topic on Agile in the wild. And this is an opportunity to demystify that Agile can really apply in almost any domain, uh, regardless your field of work, even at home. Uh, in, our, in our talk, we zoom in into the complex, complexity that happens in wildlife conservation and how Agile can complement that. So looking forward, come with your safari hat as we walk uh, the day with a lead wildlife ecologist, just to see some of the measures um, they've tried to implement and how Agile would go a long way, uh, making them uh, realize their outcomes. 
That's amazing. And, you know, when you first sent me the information on the talk, I was, I was blown away. I was like, wow, what an interesting, interesting topic, because I do truly believe that agile does have the ability to assist every area of work. And even as you said, your home. So I think people will be really interested and really amazed to hear what you have to say, especially in such a interesting um, industry, such as wildlife conservation. So that's amazing. Um, well, to finish up then a little bit more of a personal question rather than a professional question. Um, what are you both most looking forward to after COVID has settled down? Um, Anastasia, I'll let you go first. Oh my, that's an interesting one. <laughs> so uh, personally, I got my baby during COVID. So when COVID settles, I wouldn't mind to take her to her grannies and grandmas to see her. <laughs> That's adorable. I'm sure it's been so hard for them as well, not being able to, you know, hold their grandchild in their arms. So I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be really excited for that as well. Good. And uh, Gladys, for yourself? For me, uh, I really miss the family get togethers and road trips. Maybe that's what birthed Agile in the wild, because we would go with my family to Masai Mara, have stopovers, have picnics. So I really miss getting back to that. And yeah, go back to the wild to really unwind in the wild. Good, I love that. Amazing, well, thank you so much both for your time. I really appreciate you being here. Um, I'm really looking forward to your talk and I hope that uh, many others will take the time out of their day um, at the conference to come and join us. So thank you very much and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the 24th and 25th of May. Thank you. Thanks, Kat, looking forward to host you in our Agile in the Wild talk. Great. Yeah. Looking forward to see you too and to see other people join us. Thank you. Thank you.